Hi, and welcome to Motomouth. I'm Moshe K. Levy. And today we're going to be talking about Scorpion's new XO ST1400 caffeine carbon fiber helmet, which I tested for an upcoming issue of Rider Magazine. Now, this helmet boasts several unique features that many more expensive brands don't offer. Chief among them are its resin-infused 3K carbon fiber shell and the AirFit cheek pads, which can be rapidly inflated or deflated via onboard valves. The final package is a very lightweight lid with a truly individual fit. Let's go to an overview for some details. The interior is quite well appointed for a helmet in this price class. Controls for the aforementioned AirFit cheek pads are in front of the rider's chin and can be actuated with gloves on. The cheek pads themselves feature a clearly marked emergency quick release mechanism should the need arise. The Quick Wick 3 antimicrobial liner is soft and luxurious, and the crown, cheek pads, and neck roll are all easily dismantled and fully washable. A removable aero skirt is also included to effectively block wind from blowing up into the chin area for more comfortable cold weather riding and reduced road noise as an added bonus. Generous speaker cutouts beneath the helmet liner can be removed for even more room if desired. The exterior is equally well designed. The CAD-designed aerodynamic shell itself is constructed of a TCTU 3K carbon fiber composite weave, which results in extremely lightweight, just 3.1 pounds for my size large test model. Three shell sizes are available over the standard sizing range of small to 2XL for a more precise fit. Styling is fresh with aggressive sporty accents and the fit and finish on my test model was rich and glossy. A three position chin vent aims airflow either at the shield to help prevent fogging or directly to the face when fully opened, while another three position vent at the front peak channels the airflow over the head before exhausting it through a massive vent on the helmet's rear. The standard clear face shield is scratch resistant, 95% UVA and B blocking and anti-fog coated. An additional clear shield with pinlock anti-fog insert is also included. And an integrated drop-down tinted sunshield eliminates the need to swap sunglasses on and off during day rides. Out on the road, the XO ST1400 Caffeine was exceedingly functional. The interior has a snug intermediate oval shape common in the American market. Because of its lightweight, the Scorpion was very comfy on all-day jaunts with no hot spots or sore points detected after many hours in the saddle. The face shield has solid detents, which were effective at speed, and the shield sealing against wind noise and water leakage was superb. My only minor niggle involves the location Scorpion chose for the face shield actuator, which is located directly above the chin vent. As a result, it's very easy to accidentally toggle the chin vent while opening or closing the face shield. Eventually you get used to it, but with thicker gloves it becomes harder to avoid. Moving the actuator a bit to the left would solve this issue. So ultimately, between the carbon fiber shell and the AirFit cheek pads, the outstanding build quality, and the overall functionality, it's clear to me that the Chinese-made, DOT-approved Scorpion XO ST1400 Caffeine should be on your very short list if you're shopping for a midline full-face helmet this year. MSRP starts at $430. So for functionality, I'm going to give it 4 out of 5 wheelies. For value, 5 out of 5 wheelies. And for durability, 5 out of 5 wheelies taking into account the great experience I've had with some prior Scorpion helmets with similar materials. Until next time, keep the shiny side up, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of your favorite Mortal Gear reviews.